This is Mark Bell from Supertraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, answering more questions today for the Power Project. The Power Project always rolls on like a freight train coming your way. I am here at the Sacramento airport waiting for my bro to get in so we can celebrate some good times for X-Mass. But we have questions to get to. This message is sponsored to you by HowMuchYouBench.net, The Slingshot, and the only strength magazine in the world, ThePowerMagazine.com. The question is from John Nielsen. And before I start, John Nielsen, I have a question for you. Are you related to Leslie Nielsen? Because if so, that was one funny mofo. My favorite, one of my favorite lines from him was, I mean, you guys all remember Frank Drebin, right? Come on. Naked gun, uh, airplane, you guys all remember stuff like that, right? If you don't, if you're a younger kid, please make sure you go back and watch some Naked Gun. Anyway, my fav one of my favorite lines from Naked Gun is uh, when Frank Drebin says, Like a blind man in an orgy, I had to feel my way around. One of my favorite lines of all time. Anyway, this question is about deadlifting and... Uh, Jonathan Nielsen wants to know how he can increase his deadlift. But Jonathan Nielsen, you are not a true member of the Power Project Army. Because you are not doing any homework. You are lazy. You want me to lay it all out for you. And you only shot me an email that was about a paragraph long. And you didn't tell me anything about, which that's too long for the people's coach. We know We, we all know that I can't read. But you didn't give me any explanation on like what kind of training you're doing and uh, how you got stuck with your deadlift. You did mention that you did get stuck, though. But because it's the holiday seasons, I will not call you an idiot, even though I think you are. I will simply answer your question and give you some advices on how to uh, increase your deadlift. Some basics of deadlifting, no matter what style of deadlift you're doing, whether you're doing conventional or sumo, one thing remains very common amongst the cream of the crop is everybody likes to do some sort of rowing motion. Uh, everyone is a proponent, a big fan of working their back, their lats, even upper back. So things like shrugs, bent over rows, chest supported rows, heavy dumbbell rows, all those things have been associated with heavy deadlifting. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to try to incorporate some sort of heavy ab movement, whether it be a side bend or a, sit, a weighted sit-up of some sorts. Try to find something that you can do weighted. Pull-down ab movements can be effective, but I think a sit-up with a, with a pause for six to eight seconds or so at a time, uh, static contractions are going to be very, very effective uh, for deadlifting, even something like a plank, a weighted plank of some sort. Anything that you can think of where you can get some weight on you in some form of a ab movement, uh, even like hanging leg raises, a lot of guys are fans of that because it also works your grip. You're just holding on with your, with your hands and, and raising your legs up so you're getting your abs and your grip at the same time. Now as far as deadlifting protocol is concerned, what I would like to see you do is uh, stay away from singles for about two months. Let's have you do doubles. Drubbles. Just made up a new word. How about that? Drubbles. Let's have you do doubles, triples, and sets of five. Um, <clears throat> let's have you, uh, we'll just throw this out there for free. Week one, let's have you do a deficit pull. Pick about 80% uh, of your max and just go have at it. Do as many reps as you can. Next set, add some straps and do another set as many reps as you can. After that, uh, finish up with some lighter, stiff leg deadlifts with uh, with some straps. Do uh, three sets, three sets of 10. Don't worry about the weight too much, but make sure you're getting into those hamstrings, make sure you're getting into those glutes. Uh, I'm not gonna give you all the assistance exercise, just a little bit. The next week, let's have you pull off some blocks and let's have you work your way up to a heavy triple. Uh, so pull, you know, pull with the weights, the weights themselves being on the block, so it's a partial range of motion. Let's just throw it out there and say a three-inch block. How's that sound? Or mats, or whatever you can elevate the weights on. Even a rack pull is fine. Two to three inches there. So now we're working at different range of motion. Week one, we went further. Week two, we went with a partial. And now we're in week three. And let's just go straight from the floor, and let's do speed pulls. 
If you have a band, uh, stand on the band, hook it around the bar. Very easy to do. You can look it up. I did it for Rogue Fitness at one point. You could probably look that up at roguefitness.com or type my name in on YouTube's, and you might be able to find it, search around for it. If you don't know how to do any of that, don't worry about it. You can just pull straight weight or add a little bit of chain to it. That might help. The accommodating resistance is going to help you to produce more force and to help you become more explosive. But when you're doing your speed pulls, I want you to do about 10 sets of two with short rest periods. I mean short rest periods. No longer than 30 seconds. That means you got to start to set up on the bar each time um, at about 20 seconds. It's going to take you a couple seconds to readjust and to get yourself all set. So 30 seconds rest in between sets. You can do 10 sets of two. That's a lot of volume. Keep the weights light enough to where you're not killing yourself on this. It's going to be taxing. It's going to kick your ass. 20 reps. Go with about uh, <clears throat> about 50 to 60% of your max. Don't go any heavier than that. If you need to take a short break because your form is getting all jacked up, then do so. The intent is to be fast uh, with moving the bar weight, not just fast with your rest periods. Uh, let's see, what else? So after that, just start to repeat. Go back, do week one week two and week three keep repeating but remember to switch it up a little bit make sure you're training your hamstrings make sure you're training your butt make sure you're training your low back you should know some of these exercises if you don't there's something called google you can look it up there's also something called super training dot tv which has free information i'm also here at the power project army spitting out information for free all day long anyway i gotta go i gotta go pick up my bro but hopefully that helps you out. I will catch you later. And that is it from supertraining.tv.